Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today I am making a painting which is all uh, means it has uh, cherry blossom flowers and uh, today we will do the background and afterwards when it's dry we will do the uh, cherry blossom and uh, for before starting please like share and subscribe to my channel so ingredient uh, means materials are brushes uh, i have this canvas uh, paper you can also take white plain paper uh, some colors light green dark green dark blue white and light blue and water for cleaning my brush and you can also take um, the wet uh, uh, dry cloth a rough cloth and I have put some newspaper here so the color would not come here on the ground so first what we will do is take some light blue take the thick brush and this is the round brush you can also take flat brush put some color now what we will do is you will just spread this. This is the canvas pad, so I need more color. Some water for spreading the color. We need more color when we are making on making on the canvas paper canvas pad. So cover all the white spaces which you can see on the middle. So uh, we are doing dark to light. So, we will take more water and so you can see I am filling all the white spaces. So, you have to spread the color all the sides and fill the corners. The white space we can, which you can see on the middle. If you don't have a canvas pad or canvas paper, don't. Uh, you can also take the white paper. See, I have to. And don't do like this and like this. Don't look like this and then like this. It will look very shabby. So you can see here I have the more water so what I will do is I will just roll it that the water will come. See how I am rolling. I am rolling the brush and don't do like this. Put your hand on the back. So it grips a, it has a grip of the paint like this. Like this you can do. But not when. So you can do like this. When you are putting your hand on the back. Now I have. Covered all this. Uh, uh, full page. With the light blue color. So this is the. Uh, cob Coblet blue hue. You can see that. And now we are taking. This dark green. So I have this thin brush. Now take some color in the light, br the thin brush. And now what we will do is we will just do some strokes here. Take some color, stroke this like this. Put throw towards up to down. 
not down to up up to down up to down we don't need color you can do it as a uh, means a uh, big small it's your choice and put a through on it to just leave. to look nice and this is over now what we will do is now take some light green color and again put it through now take dark blue and again put some strokes and these strokes you have to make on wet so i have i automatically when i did this i started doing these strokes if you will delay it it will not look like a like strokes now take white color and this will be not the white will be not everywhere which uh, so we this colors all dark green light green and dark blue is everywhere but white will be not every not be everywhere now let it dry for some time and then we will start the cherry blossom now again take white but on the tip of the brush and put some here so after this dry uh, uh, this is dry so you can uh, mark uh, the branches from this pencil i don't know you can see or not see these lines i have drawn these are branches <clears throat> now i will take the brown color and the black color now first we will take some brown so see just take some brown now put this on the branch now just see take some brown now color these all branches now see you can see this now take some black now 
Now when you take some black, just on the end, put this. So it will look nice. See how I am putting. If brown comes, no problem. Now I have given the strokes as well. And now we will do the blossom, cherry blossom. So we will take some pink and some white. So then I have this missing ball and I will uh, mix this. So we have to make it light. So we need this much light pink color. You can see this. Now what we will do is. So see. What I did is. I will show you the trial. I put some color on this. So if I want to make here. So I will just. Do this. A light. Don't press it too much. And take some color and just see how it is looking. Now, rest of them you can do it. So, now after the pink dries, we will take the color purple and see how I did is I will show you a sample as well. So, if I am doing here, so from Outside to inside, we have to do better. So, like this. See? See how I did it. If you want to make it dark. Now, here I am doing some big petals. So, see, I am taking from outside to inside. Now, you can see how I made it. Now I will uh, do some uh, uh, some places this purple and on the these branches I didn't do the pink only on the main branches I did pink because cherry blossoms are always in pink and sometimes purple as well. Now take some red color and what you will do is just like I did this orange, just when what I did in the purple, I did on the orange as well. So I'm I will just make this red flowers as well. So you can make it anywhere you want. So we want every means the spaces should be covered because when cherry blossoms glow, grow they they grow in bushes means they grow very fast means in the spring season and they grow so much that they now take some yellow and do uh, uh, the yellow color bow, cherry blossoms like that only when of how we made red orange purple and pink 
now all the cherry blossoms are ready so now i have this white color i have this thin brush just i will take some color white color and just i took some white and put random dots like this some big dots some small dots see So this is the finished artwork of the cherry blossom. So how is it? Please comment me on the comment uh, box. And this is the final cherry blossom. How was the video? Please comment. I told you. And please subscribe, like, and share to my channel. Please subscribe it. Then when the hundred likes, a hundred subscribers would be there. I will. Bye.